Today, I wanna to talk to you about a topic that I have been wanting to make a video on for so long now. $100,000, specifically your first $100,000, is a topic that I am so passionate about uh, because now that we've done it a, a couple of times, it's hard, you guys. <laughs> like, I, I, the reason I've been struggling to make a video about this for so long is because um, it is both the simplest yet the hardest thing I have ever done in my life. I wanted to make this video because I, one, want to motivate you because even though it is hard, it is not difficult. The things you have to do are not difficult. It's just hard. And so I guess I wanna start out by encouraging you guys with the fact that you, like you watching, specifically you, you have everything you need to make $100,000 in a year selling what you make. Um, you do not need anything special. Here are the four things you need. Your own two hands, your brain, your voice, or a way to communicate with other people, and a bunch of hard work. That's it. So be encouraged by that. Uh, you've already got it. You're ready. You are so equipped. There are about six steps. There's six phases that you'll go through. And I kind of just wanted to be really real with you guys and let you know what they were for me. This is what it looked like for me. It might look like this for you. I just want to give you guys a heads up. So the first phase that you're going to go through um, when you're working toward your first $100,000 is excitement. And this is a really cool phase because you're probably going to start in January, right? You start planning out your, your business for the year. You're sitting in January and you're like, what are my goals? $100,000. Cool. By December 31st, I want $100,000. Um, and you're getting so excited. You're pumping yourself up. You're like, I'm going to do it. I'm, this year, I'm going to do it. I, I've set my goals. I know roughly what I'm going to sell and how I'm going to get there. Um, you followed all of the advice, getting yourself to $10,000. You've got that su support system of people who are going to lift you up and encourage you. You're just flat excited. <laughs> like, that's fine. That's great. That is so good. Um, and that phase is gonna pay off for you. That excitement is going to turn into about $10,000. That's what I found for myself. When I start the year and I'm insanely excited, that brings me to about my first 10 to $12,000. Um, and it takes about like probably a month and a half, two months, you know, kind of depends on, on the price point of what you're selling. I describe it as kind of an uninformed optimism. You're just blindly like sprinting toward your goals, which is such a good phase to be in. Um, you're kind of like Dorothy, like walking down the yellow brick road. You've got like the lion and the tin man and you're all just happy going down the yellow brick road. Nobody knows that Oz is just a man behind a curtain yet. Shh, like we, we haven't gotten there yet. We're just skipping along happy. You want to make the most of this phase. For me, that lasts, like I said, about four to six weeks, and it'll bring you to about your first ten to twelve thousand dollars. That's great. Um, after that excitement phase, you're gonna kind of turn around and look at the past month, and you're gonna say, "How did I do that?" So the excitement phase is kind of a blur, and then you get to the phase I call confusion. That's phase number two, um, and it's not a bad confusion; it's a good confusion. You say, "How exactly did I make that ten thousand dollars?" And how can I do it again? Can I do it again? The answer is yes, you can definitely do it again and you actually have to <laughs> to get to $100,000, right? This is such a productive point of your year because you're gonna sit down, because you're confused, right? You're like, how the heck did I get to 10K? What did I do? I don't really remember how did I do it. I wanna do it again. And you're gonna say, who did I sell to? Who was my main customer base that bought my products? Um, how did I market it to them? What marketing strategy worked best for me? How did I develop the product? How did I streamline it? Um, what form of communication did I use? You're gonna get really specific. You're gonna take about, you know, four days to a week to really concentrate and figure out how you did this. And then you're gonna figure it out. You're gonna be like, oh, this is how I did that. And as you're figuring it out, you're gonna sell to more people. And usually by the end of the confusion phase, um, you're at like 15 grand, I'd say. So you maybe make a, an additional five grand on top of that 10 grand. This is where you learn so much. Davis and I kind of love this phase because we learned so much about our businesses because we're forcing ourselves to sit down and looked at, uh, look at what worked for us. And then you're gonna enter the repetition phase. You figured out what works. And so now all you've gotta do is do it over and over and over and over and over again. This is another really motivating phase to be in because you're like, I, I did it. I figured it out. Now I just have to do it. This is where the hard work comes in. And you're just like, all right, cool. I'm just going to wake up and I'm going to live and breathe the process within my business. And that, honestly, this part is where you're going to make a huge chunk of your money. This phase lasts probably about three to four months and it's going to bring you to about the halfway mark to $50,000 because when you do what works, it works. This is where I start to get real with you guys. After the repetition phase, comes 
the boredom phase. You have figured out what you need to do. You've done it relentlessly for about four months. And now it's gonna get real boring. You're not waking up with the same energy you were in the repetition phase. Uh, you're no longer like living and breathing it. You don't have the same excitement because you're a creative, like you're a maker, you're an artist. You always wanna be doing something new, something different. Um, but what your business really needs is for you to keep doing the same. And you know that, and you've seen that, and you understand that. Y you just don't wanna do it, it's hard. I, I know, I've been there. You're gonna wanna change everything, but I'm telling you right now, don't do it. You cannot change everything. You need to keep doing what works. Boredom kills more dreams than failure ever does. Boredom will destroy your business faster than failure will. That's why this phase is so important. And here's the hard part. In the boredom phase, you're not gonna show up the same way that you used to to your businesses. You're gonna be a little sad. You're gonna be a little frustrated. You're probably only gonna make another 10 grand in this phase. At the end of the boredom phase, you're only at about $60,000 and you're probably seven or eight months in and you're starting to get a little discouraged. Then you're gonna enter what's called the valley of despair. And that is where you've been in the boredom phase for about a month or so, and it's really starting to mess with your head. People don't like to talk about what's going on in your brain when you're going through the hard times in your business. Um, the valley of despair is where the hard work comes in. At the beginning, I told you you have everything you need, which you do. Can we just like circle back to the beginning of the video for a moment? You have everything you need to get to this phase and beyond it. I promise you, you do. We just need to talk a little bit about what's going through your head. So this is where you're thinking things like, you know what, maybe I'm just not meant to run a business. You know what, my circumstances, it's clear that my circumstances just aren't gonna allow me to see this business through to $100,000. It's fine. This just proves that I'm not good enough to sell my product. This just proves that it's impossible to sell $100,000 worth of what I make. Man, I just don't have the personality for this. And <laughs> sometimes you're gonna get to a really dark place and you're saying, wow, this really says a lot about me if I just can't make $100,000 in my business. And I wanna stop you right there because one, feeling that way is normal. I'm telling you, I felt that way myself. These are not unique thoughts to you. And I don't mean that to sound like insensitive. I mean that to be a motivator. Like you're not the only one that gets to this um, valley of despair phase and is thinking those things. So um, I don't want you to, to quit here because you think that these thoughts are unique to you. No, everybody's feeling this way. I can promise you that. Um, that's why we built the stud stack in this community because it's hard. It's freaking hard. Um, it takes a toll on your mental health and sometimes you just need friends who have been there before to like walk next to you if nothing else. Okay, so if your head is filled with all that negativity, what you need in the Valley of Despair more than anything is to counteract all those thoughts. You need to be listening to things that tell you the complete opposite because the complete opposite is true. And if the opposite, if believing the opposite brings you the outcome that you want, might as well be delusional in the opposite direction. If you're gonna be delusional, you might as well be delusional about the positive end of the spectrum rather than the negative end of the spectrum. Um, Davis can attest to this. Usually when I get to the $70,000 point, I am just shoving my ears full of positive content, podcasts of people doing the same thing I'm doing and have done it in the past and have done it better than me. I am filling it with, with um, you know, positivity books and self-help and music that lifts me up and doesn't tear me down. I'm not listening or watching show to watching shows that are super depressing. I'm doing everything I can to fill my head with positivity and the truth about myself, which is that I am capable and I can do it. Okay, um, here's what I don't want you to be listening to in this phase. Um, I am going to advise you to be very careful about watching videos about five things that sell best or try selling these seven things to make your business explode. Um, try to avoid distractions at all costs. At this phase, you are very like emotionally vulnerable and distractions are a lot more attractive to you than they usually are. So you kind of need to just like put on your blinders and avoid anything that might be a distraction because you're gonna be overly sensitive to it. So um, consume content, watch things, listen to things, talk to people who are all very positive, who have, are doing what you're doing, have done what you've done. Um, and go from there. You just, you really need to limit the negativity in this phase. It is a very gritty 
phase. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. You really need to buckle down, put in the hard work, and just push through this valley of despair to the other side. Um, Cause there's three ways you can go in the valley of despair. You can either come up to the valley of despair, look down it and say, nope, no thanks, not for me. Turn around and go back up. That's fine. You'll make about $70,000 that year in your business. Um, the other option is to power through, have a little bit of grit, and, and, and even though it sucks and it's hard, doubling down on what works, even though you're bored. Um, and you're gonna get up through that valley of despair, get to the top of the next mountain, hit your 100,000 goal. Um, the third option is getting stuck in that valley of despair. And that is just when you are turning your wheels, you're listening to the wrong type of content, the wrong type of people, and you are just stuck in this valley of despair. You're not making money and it's frustrating. Um, you're getting distracted. And I will honestly say, I would prefer you to turn back than to get stuck in the valley of despair because not making a decision is a decision. And it is so much worse to be stuck in that valley than to just choose one way out. Um, so if it's between you like staying in the valley of despair and like turning back, I would almost prefer you to turn back and try it again next year because staying stuck in it can be so hard. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you have everything it takes to get to the other side. You truly, truly do. You just have to hit dial again, hit send, talk to more people, um, continue to market your product in a way that works. You are so close to being there and that's what you don't understand in the Valley of Despair is you are so much closer to the end than you think. You are just in despair. So you feel like you are so much further, but you're all, you're only 30 grand away. At this point, you're at like 70K. You literally have to just push through and make that last $30,000. And if you do that, you guys, if you do that, you end up in the shock and awe phase. If you don't give up on yourself, if you keep pushing, if you put the right content in your head, if you repeatedly keep doing what works, you will make that last 30 grand and you will enter what I call the shock, awe, and surprise phase. It is the most beautiful, euphoric, like, phase that I think I've ever been in, especially when I made it the, like when we were making our first hundred thousand dollars. You're so proud of yourself. Like if you make it here, first off, congratulations. All of you are capable of doing it. And when you finally make it here, that's why Kingstad is such a big rewards um, milestone for us because we know <laughs> everything you had to go through to get there. We know you went through the Valley of Despair. We know, we know you went through the boredom phase. We know how hard that is. That's why we celebrate it massively because it deserves to be celebrated. Um, and at the end of this journey, you probably feel like you like or love yourself a lot more. And that's not because you made $100,000. I can personally tell you at the end, I was so proud of myself that I made it to that milestone and it wasn't because of the numbers. It was because I kept a promise to myself. I told myself at the beginning of the year that I was gonna make $100,000 in my business and I did. When I showed up in that way, to myself when I showed up and I said, we're gonna make this happen, I'm gonna keep this promise that I made to January, Jenny. It's like nothing else. It, it proves that you can keep promises to yourself and that's something you can carry with you for forever. $100,000, that'll come and go. That $100,000 that you bring in, that's gonna get spent on materials, on labor, you're gonna reinvest it back into the business. You might keep a little bit of it for yourself, but you know, you wanna spend it on marketing or reinvest so you can make it 200,000 the next year, whatever. But the thing that can never get spent and is gonna stick with you forever is this newfound ability to keep promises to yourself. Money cannot buy that for you. I'm telling you, it is hard work and nothing else. There's no more technical skills that you need to get through all six of these phases. It is just um, grit, hard work, and using what's at your disposal. Do not let YouTube fool you any differently. I know there's a lot of thumbnails out of there that make it seem you know, easy and seamless. And if you just try these five new products, um, surely you'll hit it because all of these have you know, been tried and true for other people. It's literally just hard work, it's, it's that simple. And honestly, like nobody wants to talk about how much certain phases of it suck because that doesn't get clicks. Nobody wants to click on, this is gonna be the hardest three months of your life. Let me tell you about it. Um, everybody wants to click on, I made $100,000 in eight months. <laughs> yeah, that gets clicks, but the negative stuff doesn't. Um, so I just wanted to be real with you guys for a few minutes today. Because if I can do it, you surely can do it. All of us can do it. You are equipped, you are capable, you have absolutely everything you need to make your first $100,000 selling what you make. Um, I just, I get really excited for you guys because 
yeah, it's hard, but like look at the people you have around you. You have this community of people who want you to succeed, who are doing what you're doing, who would love to encourage you with their stories or hold you accountable or or provide you positive content or whatever. And so I am just so happy for you guys. I'm glad you're here. Um, I cannot wait to watch some of you walk down this journey to make your first 100K. It's the most rewarding thing I think I've ever done. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. The highly requested in-person meetup of maker business owners. The Stud Stack Summit 2024. Y'all, we have been wanting to do this for years and the Studstack members have been waiting in anticipation. We're hosting the first ever live in-person Studstack meetup. We're calling it the Studstack Summit. And Studstack members from all over the country are gonna be joining us. Here in Houston. From May 31st to June 2nd this year, join us for a weekend of learning and fun. From a welcome party to a shop tour to discussions and lots of fun hangouts, we cannot wait to see everybody here in Houston, Texas. We're even working on some secret swag bags to give you guys just as an added bonus for coming. There's a lot of fake in the world right now. Fake news, fake success, fake advice, fake motivation. So the theme for this year's summit is get real. We'll talk about how to make real money and have real success in our businesses and how we can turn our dreams into a reality by talking about the real obstacles that stand in our way. It's gonna be a real good time. If you've been considering joining the Stud Stack, now is the perfect time to join. This is a private event for Stud Stack members only, so you have to be a part of the group to be able to get a ticket. And because this is the first one, we've only got 50 spots, so we gotta act fast if you wanna get one of them. Again, this is a closed event, you must have a ticket to attend. All of the details you can find on our website at the link below. We cannot wait to see you guys. Jump in the Stud Stack and get your ticket.